Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 31 of Book 3, which states that if we have a circle, have the center E, BC as the diameter, then the angle inscribed in the semicircle will be a right angle. If the segment is larger than a semicircle, the angle inscribed will be less than a right angle. And if the segment is smaller than a semicircle, the angle inscribed will be larger than a right angle. So this is the first part of this proposition. The second part states that if we have a segment, a large one, i.e. larger than a semicircle, the angle between the base and the circumference will be larger than a right angle. And the inverse, if we have a small segment, then the angle between the base and the circumference will be less than a right angle. So to prove the first three inequalities or equalities, equality, inequality, first we're going to draw a line from A to E and extend the line BA out to the point F. Now this triangle is an isosceles triangle because these are right eye of the same circle, they're equal. According to Proposition 5 of Book 1, if these are equal, it's an isosceles triangle. These two angles are also equal. Similarly, this angle is equal to that angle. Same logic. Now the angle CAB is equal to the sum of this angle plus that angle, or in other words, gamma plus theta. Now we have a triangle ABC. We have an exterior angle to this triangle. According to Proposition 32 of Book 1, the exterior of exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. In other words, FAC is equal to gamma plus theta. Now by definition, if we have a line and another one going up from it, if the two angles on both sides of AC are equal, by definition they are right angles. That is the definition of a right angle. So CAB is a right angle, and we have just shown the first part of this proposition. Now let's look at the angle ABC or gamma. According to Proposition 17 of Book 1, the sum of any two angles in a triangle is less than two right angles, or less than 180 degrees. So we have alpha plus gamma has to be less than 180 degrees. But we've already shown that alpha is equal to 90 degrees. So if we subtract 90 degrees off of this equation, we have gamma is less than 90 degrees, or gamma is less than a right angle. So now we have shown this part of the proposition. Finally, looking at this segment, or at this quadrilateral, it's been inscribed in a circle, and according to Proposition 22, the opposite angles of a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle must add up to two right angles, or gamma plus delta is equal to two right angles. Now since gamma is less than one right angle, delta must be greater than one right angle if we want this equality to hold. And therefore, delta is greater than a right angle. Now we have just shown this part of the proof. So here we have demonstrated that BAC is a right angle, ABC is less than a right angle, and ADC is greater than a right angle. Carrying on to the second part of this proposition, we're stating that this angle theta is larger than 90 degrees. Well, we've already established that the angle CAB is 90 degrees, theta is obviously larger, 
We've already shown previously that you can't have a line outside of the circle if it's a chord. So we know that this angle is larger than CAB, which was a right angle, so therefore theta is larger than a right angle. We know that FAC was equal to a right angle, and beta is obviously less than a right angle, so here we have beta is less than a right angle. And thus we have shown this part of the proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.